Welcome to part three of this Excel basics tutorial. In the previous videos, we've gone through a lot of things such as columns, rows, entering data, deleting data, changing the appearance of data, the font, the color, the size, etc. I've gone through borders, merging cells, saving work, print preview, printing, and there's probably a few other things too. In this video, we're going to look at dragging and also look at formulas. And this is where Excel starts to get quite clever. This is very much the basics, obviously, and there's a lot more to it than what I'm going to show in this video. Okay, so let's look at dragging first of all. So if we have some data on Excel, or well, let's say we want to enter some data into Excel. Let's say we want to do 1 to 50. So one, two, three, four, five. We want all these rows to come down like so, and we want to have one to 50. Now to manually enter one to 50 like I'm doing now is obviously gonna take quite a bit of time. I'm just entering the number and clicking enter, and it shifts down automatically. But it's still gonna take a lot of time doing this. If I just highlight this and delete it. Excel makes inputting data a lot quicker than that. So if I could do one, two, three. All I need to do if I want a continuation of the numbers here is highlight these figures and you'll see there's a little box, a green filled box that appears at the bottom right hand corner. If I click and hold on that and drag it down, you'll see that the numbers are going up to the right 10, 11, 12, 13. I can go all the way to 50. So let's go down. 35, 40, 49, 50. And then I let go, and you can see I've got 1 to 50 up here on the screen. Now we can do the same with dates. So if I wanted to do January 87, February 87, March 87, if I just highlight these, click and drag on the little box here, Excel will carry on the dates for me. So let's go all the way down to 50 again. We've got all the way down to February 91. That took two seconds, three seconds to drag that down, entering these manually. And you can imagine if you have hundreds of these, it's going to take you a long time. But Excel can do it in just a matter of a few seconds. So that's drag and drop. You can also do the same letter or number repeated. So if you've got the letter A, if you just leave it as a single cell A and drag it down, we have lots of A's. You could do the same with numbers. So number one, drag it down, lots of numbers. It's not until you put the continuation, the sequence in and drag and drop that, that you're going to get a continuation, um, like a, a sequence. If you just do a single cell with a word in or whatever the data is and drag that single cell, you're going to get a repeat rather than a sequence, just a repeat of the word, number, whatever the data is. So that's drag and dropping. Now let's look at a few formulas. Some formulas we can look at addition, subtraction, and also multiplication. So we have a plus sign here, a minus sign, and then the asterisk sign, this star sign, is for multiplying or timesing. Now, a simple formula, all we need to do is add one cell to another cell. So in H3, if I've got 50, and in I3, I've got 100, let's say I want to automatically add these numbers together. All I need to do in a different cell is do the equal sign. All formulas start with an equals. So equals, click on H3, Put the addition sign plus I3 and then click enter. And you can see that 150 is the total of H3 and I3. Now if I highlight these two cells, there is some information at the bottom here. You can see the average of these two cells is 75. The count, so how many numbers there are, there are two numbers, is shown. And also the sum, the total, is 150. So you might think, what's the point of putting a formula in if 
you can just highlight the cells. Well, the reason why you want a formula is if these figures change, let's say this goes to 75, the formula will take that into consideration and give you the new total. So let's say this goes up to 2000 and this goes up to 37589. The total will show automatically. Let's look at subtraction. So same sort of thing. We got 500 and we have 250. We can do equals H4 minus, so the minus sign, I4, and then we can click enter. I clicked the wrong button there. Click enter, 250. Multiplication, let's do 124 and 879 equals, all formula starts with equals, so equals H5, multiply by I5, enter, it gives us our number. Now if any of these numbers change, the formula or formulae is going to update automatically, saving you the time to do the sum, it will just update it automatically. And obviously you can combine these as well. You could do a new formula up here. You could do H3 plus I4 minus H5 minus H4. So you can do subtraction and addition in the same formula. You can also do multiplication in the same formula too, but you'll have to use brackets. So equals bracket H3 times I3 close bracket plus I5 enter. And that will give you your figure. Now, if the brackets confuse you, it's just simple maths. If you think about how you're going to write a maths sum out with multiplication, with addition and subtraction, you're going to need to use brackets. And that's all we're doing here on Excel. Now, that's the basics of formulas. That's the basics of Microsoft Excel that I've covered in these last three videos. It is very much the basics, but it's important that you understand the basics. I suggest you rewatch the videos again. If you need help with Excel, if you need someone to give you a helping hand, if you have questions that need answering, if you're a bit confused about some of the points that I went through, then simply go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, go to services, go to email support, and subscribe to my email support for Excel, which is 12 months support unlimited emails over that 12 months and I'm here to help you. If you want to watch more Excel videos and learn more about Excel and move on to more advanced features, just go to free stuff on my website, go to learn Excel, click start and take the free videos on this page. It's all for free, no strings attached. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll speak to you in a future video.